Hey everybody, this is Pinchy Al, and we're going to work on the Mark II today. And on today's episode, we're going to learn how to remove the shifter linkage and the uh, heat shield underneath. So, let's get ready and get to work, because this is Pinchy Al's garage with wife. you're going to need for this episode is a 13 millimeter and a 10 millimeter socket. You're going to go underneath the car. Um, I started already uh, loosening the bolts. I haven't removed them yet. But you guys can see here there's six of them in total. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Take those six off and then you'll be able to get to access to the um, shifter linkage and there's four 13 millimeter bolts underneath that will drop the shift linkage and get it out of here so I'm gonna put you guys back here so you guys can see this while it happens there we go so like I was saying I already took some of the bolts off uh, the nuts off so this will be pretty easy for me Be very careful not to bend this as much as you can because this stuff bends really, really easy. The good thing is it's easy to shape if you bend it and you mess it up, but you want it as clean as possible. So now that we're underneath the car, I mean, we're exposing the bottom. You'll see here one, two, three, four of the bolts that we need to... Um, and get the shift linkage off. So I'll put you guys a little bit further back. Hopefully you guys can see all that. So double check your sizing. Now make sure you get yourself a baggie and name this baggie I guess uh, tunnel and shift linkage because they're all in the same area. Uh, next episode, once we get the mock-up all done on the engine bay, we're going to show you guys how to use the Mark, uh, mount the Mark IV shifter in here because it literally almost bolts up 100%. Like, it's just off by a little bit. We had to drill a couple holes and then... Um, mounted in place I just noticed there are two different size bolts already off the bat as you guys can see that there's a long one and a short one I don't know why that is but we'll find out right now if it's the same on both sides Make sure to stay out of the way so it doesn't hit you and it drops. Uh, this one had a long bolt in it.
So you want to go down as straight as you can and pull that sucker out. And that is your shifter, your tunnel, and uh, shift linkage removal. That's it. Pretty easy. For uh, what? Ten bolts in total, and that comes right out. Um, so this whole shift box or this whole thing is welded in place. So when you guys mock up the um, the Mark IV one, there's going to be some cutting involved or drilling. So you guys have to going to have to use some bolts and nuts to get the new one in here. Um, I would recommend uh, uh, Teflon nuts so that stuff doesn't back out on you ever, especially if you're going to be driving. It'd be so weird. The uh, shift boxes drops while you're driving. So. There's a couple ways around it. Um, we'll show you guys how to do all that in the next DIY. We just want to show you guys how to remove everything, make sure it looks good, and you don't damage anything on the way out. Thanks for watching this episode of Peach House Garage. See you guys next time. Peace out.